page from the lovely journal that Andrea sent me and I've got some yellow Liquitex ink here and I'm going to liberally spread it over the page. My intention is to cover quite a lot of the page with the yellow and um, I'm going to spray it with water now and uh, help it spread around because it's very intense colours and uh, a little goes a long way. So I'm just spraying on the water and then letting it run around the page. masked off the page because um, it's got the two punched holes in one edge and I wanted those to not be incorporated into the piece so I masked those off and then decided to mask the same area off around on each edge and now I'm just gently dabbing up some of the excess water it's still wet but uh, not dripping wet as before. Now I'm using some Bista which is from Art Journey and I've got three different colours. This first one I'm adding on is natural. Um, I wondered what Bista actually was. Um, I didn't know whether it was some kind of paint pigment or metallic filings. Um, what happens when you add it to the paper and then add water, uh, it has a very organic life of its own um, and it comes in different colours. The colours I've used are that one I've just put on now is natural, um, then brown and then lastly I put on black. Um, anyway, the definition of Bista is ashes from a fire that have been um, powdered down and used as uh, paint pigment. It's from a particular type of wood um, which I can't remember at the moment. I think it might have been birch wood, but uh, don't hold me to that. And it used to be used by the old masters to make paint pigments in the olden days. But it has a real lovely look to it when it goes onto the paper. And um, some of it, when you spray it with water, some of it will just spread out into the paper and other pieces, um, particularly the natural, tend, it seems to be a bit more of a granular feel to it and that adds some um, little dots and things around and the brown seems to have a bit of a red tinge to it. And it's very interesting stuff. I think I shall be using it quite a lot because I really like the effect that it has on the paper. So I've sprayed it quite a bit with water and uh, I want it to move around but I don't want it to cover everywhere. I want it to look, have that sort of organic veiny look about it. So I'm just sort of blotting where it's running off of the paper but allowing the rest to sort of take its own path. Just spraying a little bit more water to get some of that thicker black to run. But with the yellow background, 
it really shows up well, it has a very good effect. Now when I was happy with the look that I wanted I dried it all with my heat gun um, as much as I could so that it would be ready for the next step. When it was dried I just thought that the yellow in some places looked a bit washed out so I went back in with some more of the Liquitex ink and just put some in in some of the spaces. Some places I think I put a bit too much water so I diluted the pigment of the, of the ink too much. But uh, Yeah, it wasn't too difficult to zoom in, and here I'm using my finger. It's just a bit easier to spread it around sometimes, and uh, I've put a bit too much there, so I'm just dabbing a bit off. Adding a bit more in the bottom corner. So I wanted it to have quite a vibrant look about it. And then just moving it about a bit more. Yeah, and then when it was done, I um, came back in with my heat gun again and completely dried it. The next thing I added was some crackle paste, modelling paste by Dreamweaver and I'm using a stencil by the Crafters Workshop called Mini Chicken Wire Reversed and I'm just going to add it in small random places on the, on the page um, using my trusty spatula. It's some really lovely stuff, this um, modelling paste. It's nice and creamy and it goes through the stencil well and uh, holds its shape I'm just trying to decide whether to add any more or call it quits i decide to put a bit more just in that corner and then thinking shall I add some more yes go on just put a bit up in that corner you know it makes sense. There we go. I quickly nipped out to wash the stencil and the uh, spatula and now I'm taking off the um, masking tape I thought it was probably best to get it off quickly and not leave it overnight because um, it might have stuck too much to the page and then ripped it. So I'm trying not to smudge the modelling paste because it's still wet and uh, then once it's all off I'm just going to leave it to dry naturally now and I'll come back probably in the morning now to finish it off. It's got a little bit buckled but uh, I'm sure I can flatten that out before it goes back in the album. I'm going to use this stamp Big B by Art Journey. Um, and uh, I've already stamped three of them and fussy cut them out. Now I'm going to colour them in with my Spectrum Wire Pen CT3. Just the yellow stripes of the body. Um, 
Bow marker in cool aqua and just go over the wings a bit in a sort of sketchy manner just to sort of create a bit of a look of see through wings really. I don't know how to explain it but it just sort of gives them a bit of a glassy reflection. And once I've done that, I'm going to add some Anita's 3D clear gloss finish to give them, to give the wings a glass look. Uh, it's a bit like glossy accents, but uh, slightly more liquid, and uh, I really like the effect of it. is now dry and I've got all the pieces together ready to assemble it. I'm just showing you the glass effect of the wings with the glass. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera. Um, I've put some foam uh, adhesive dots on the bottom ready to stick it down and I'm just taking off the pieces and deciding where I'm going to each of the bumblebees and I also decided to let them hang slightly off of the edge of the page um, to cover up the blot that was there um, as there's no mistakes in art just opportunities to find a way around things <laughs> and we get very good with that in time I'm going to glue down my sentiment with Claudine Helmuth matte multimedium and uh, I'm just going to paint some on and uh, add them to the paper. Castell Pip Pen. This is the small brush tip and I'm just going to go around each of the words to accentuate it and make it pop a bit. finished I'm really pleased how it turns out and I hope you like it too I'm going to add it to Andrea's lovely journal There you 
Niranja, the first page completed in your lovely book. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.